Hello everyone, welcome to Nova Lands Amelia's Mission. This is a prologue for the upcoming Nova Lands. Now Amelia's Mission does not have as much content as the demo for Nova Lands had that we were able to play back in the day, but you can't play that anymore so this is the best we're gonna get until the game releases. Now my goal for this video is to complete Amelia's Mission as fast as possible. I think I can do it in under 10 days. There isn't a whole lot to do and like I said there is an actual ending to this prologue as well. I am loaded up on the caffeine of the monster, so let's hope we can actually do this. First thing we want to do is we want to smash up a couple of rocks. We need to get a furnace going and we need to smelt some coal for that, or in that. Alright, let's place down the furnace, place it down here, slap the coal in there. Let's destroy this as well real quick. Why is it not doing anything? Hello? Ah, oh, right. Well, <laughs> that didn't go so well. Alright, oxygen. Kind of need that, which is important, so let's fill that up real quick. We're going to need quite a bit of coal to begin here. Next up, we're going to need to make a bunch of these modular bricks. We need both coal as well as rocks for those. They will make a couple at a time. I think it's like up to four or six. And we're definitely going to be needing an extra furnace in a second here as well. So we're going to need an, quite a bit of rock. Alright, uh, let's get a couple of these modular bricks going. Let's try to get a couple more, as well as I already want to start collecting iron, which is this blue ore. And since we're going to be smelting iron soon, that means we're going to need a ton of coal. So we also want to focus on just a lot of twigs real quick. That way we can kind of build up a stockpile, that's my hope at least. And with a stockpile, we can actually use the smelters for something else. Alright, we can make the research processor. So we need a lot of modular bricks in order to unlock iron and copper. Copper will be a future thing anyway, so I'm not really too worried about that right now. But we are going to need iron, because we're going to be needing that for, well, something in the future anyway. The neat thing is, eventually we can automate a lot of this process. Doing that will help us out quite a bit. So next up we need to unlock the workbench. After the workbench I want to start on automating. So I basically need, well, we need everything, so we're going to need a lot of iron here. So I'm definitely going to have to make a couple extra of those. And I should have kept one coal at the very least, so it could get going. The neat thing is, now we have a pig. He will eat the bushes, but he actually also destroys the bushes, so we will be able to find random twigs laying around. Alright, it seems like the modular bricks are done. That's good, we don't really need them for a little while. We are going to need them later on in the run, though. Alright, we got free iron here. It's going to be enough to unlock the workbench and the raider, as well as this. These are the collector bots. They will mine resources for us. We are going to, however, need a bit more iron for that, because they're, well, they cost iron to make, as well as their antenna. Iron does cook kind of slow. We'll probably need more furnaces. Currently, I'm just having somewhat of an issue keeping the coal stocked, so I think unless we got, or until we got robots to do most of the work for us, I'm gonna hold off on that. Alright, now that we have two, I think we technically have enough. So all we do is we place on that, this is the antenna, and then we need a workbench, which actually never mind, we do not have enough. We're gonna need one more iron bar, there we go. Now we can create a collector bot. We slap this collector bot in here and tell it to go fetch sticks. He'll go around getting all the sticks. We can technically make another one, and I'm going to do that, because he's going to collect iron for us so we can start doing other things real quick. There we go. This means our hands are free for a little while to just do a couple other things. I'm going to take this time to make a couple extra furnaces, I think. If I see iron or need twigs, I will help in as well, but for now it isn't that big of a deal. I'm not going to go for deposits just yet. I will go for the jetpack. With the jetpack we can kind of boost forward and we're going to need it anyway to go to different islands here. So it is a worthwhile investment here as well. We are going to need at least two more bars here. I'm going to put these to copper already as well. Now we can actually start creating the raider. I think we need another bar anyway so it doesn't save us much time sadly. I'm also going to start on these bricks again. Because I know we're going to need quite a bit of the bricks later. Alright, we got another iron bar, which means we can now unlock this island. Islands seem to be quite random which position they are in. This should be the land of copper, where copper, 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 copper. 
copper. There we go, there's some. I want to get a little bot going here as well. Although actually, no, never mind. I'll hold off on that for a sec. I'll probably have the bot go on the next island. We're going to need at least two bars for that. But that's totally going to be worth it though. Because there's a lot of copper on that island. And there's also a lot of iron on that island. Alright, oxygen's running out. But that's alright. We can go back real quick. Alright, so we're actually getting quite a bit. So I'm going to start collecting or making two more of these bots real quick. Alright, sweet. The copper is done. We'll go back to the raider. Unlock this island. With this island unlocked, so you can go back, build one of these. We also have two bots. One goes for iron, and one of them goes for the copper here. They'll bring it back to here, so we don't really have to look for this area. We can kind of raid the other place for copper. We just need more copper. If we can get these, though, the logistic bots, we can uh, basically automate a lot of processes. Also, do not worry. While I'm in this menu, the time stops, I'm pretty sure, at least. I'm going to get deposit areas for right now, though, because that unlocks this, the transporter arm, later down the line. Transporter arm is going to be pretty handy, though. That will basically make it so we uh, can transport items in between areas. We are going to unlock better smelters soon. But until then, of course, we are definitely going to be needing more of these. All right, we can also now have automation going. An extra inventory slot I actually won't say no to. I think we need copper. Yeah, we just need one more copper bar now. All right, there we go. We can make the logistics bot. Logistics bot will basically complete all our tasks. It will fuel all these. Next, I'm going to go for... Well, I need to kind of go for this. We need one more copper bar. This will unlock steel. We are going to need a ton and an absolute ton of copper, though. And we are kind of... Well, not very far with copper just yet. Definitely having a short uh, sort of some coal, though. I'm going to build a depositing area. I don't think we're definitely going to need... Or we don't really need it as much, but I do like to have some inventory space here. All right, I think we have enough now to at least construct the better smelters. These improved furnaces, they'll make a lot more, which is good. This is also why I wanted to make a lot of modular bricks. Not the only reason, but one of them at least. One for copper, or maybe two for copper. I feel like copper always goes really slow. So let's do that. We'll have two of these. We'll set them both to copper. These bees, man, they eventually just overtake your entire island if you don't watch out. We can't really kill them just yet. Alright, this also produces a lot more coal. This basically takes the input of two regular furnaces, but it will create three items instead of what well, the two it would have otherwise. We're only on day four, though, and we are getting kind of close. Steel is just going to take a little while to make, which is my main concern. There's also gold nuggets in the game. Uh, I'm not going to deal with those. You can't really do anything with them yet. All right, I think we can start on steel production. We at least have enough of these items. We just need a bit more coal here. All right, we need one more coal to get a bit of steel going. Ah, sweet. I got the one less coal. Yeah, the coal's running really low. We're gonna need more bots set up for stick collecting. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's put down two of them here, because I think you can only have one antenna per island. Yeah, you can only have one of them per island. Okay, so when we come back here, they should be loaded. Do we have any steel yet? It's about to finish here. That means we can actually research these arms, and then we can put down a bunch of these arms. Two on this side, and I'm gonna change this from the antenna to that location right there. And now every time they got something, they'll bring it to the arms, and the arms bring it to this island. So the logistic bot here can actually grab the items, like the copper, and finish it up now. And I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm not sure if there's a limit to this. There probably is. But honestly, we're going to need them, so many of them anyway. Should we unlock the next island yet? You know what? Why not? This island is where the ending is, so now we're just going to need a couple more iron or steel here. We basically need the advanced production here. This will give us the data analyzer, and we're going to need seven extractor towers. So we're going to need quite a bit of both modular bricks here, as well as regular steel. Alright, seems like we're getting kind of the surplus here. I think the bot is just kind of overloaded, which is, I guess is a good thing to have. Maybe I'll just take it out. And I'll fix it up with a logistic bot. Plunk down on another one of these. They'll basically go twice as fast now, which is good. Now I'm just going to run around here, get some stone, because we're going to need a ton of modular bricks. We have three bots going for sticks, and we're out. 
Or are they just too slow? Oh, this, yeah, this is filling up pretty good. But we're gonna need a little bit more steel here. We're definitely, I think, gonna just need a second produce or second furnace for the steel. Now that we have a bit of steel here, we can just unlock this, the data analyzer, as well as the extractor towers. And now we can really see how many items we're gonna need for this. The extractor tower is two, we need a total of seven, which means we need 14 steel. And we need one for this, we also need a copper here. So we're gonna need 15 steel in total in order to basically complete this. All right, let's put down the data analyzer. So this is what I mean, we need seven extractors around this giant mountain here. I'm gonna add the extra challenge here, and I'm gonna buy the energy rifle. Basically putting us back down to 14 steel. Just because now that we have everything, we can fucking get this guy because he's been stealing all the wood. These bees are pretty predictable. You can see their attack pattern from quite a bit beforehand. And you can stun them as well with this gun. They're just kind of dangerous when you're too close, I guess. It's actually not that bad this time, I will admit. On my first save fall, I got so many beehives on my island. That's kind of crazy. Alright, well, we've gotten to the point where I'm just waiting on steel. We only need two more and we have completed everything. So I'm just going to wait here until this is done. And it seems like it's going to be morning of day 9. So me saying it will be done before day 10 seems to be pretty accurate. And actually, on saying that, I'm going to start building these extractors. And look at that. Our steel is done. Boom. Well, everyone, that was Novaland's Amelia's mission. It seems like the full game, of course, is going to have a lot more. We've already seen quite a bit of in the demo. Uh, a lot more than they released on this prologue. And we're definitely going to be playing Novaland's when it comes out. So stay tuned for that. Hope you all enjoyed, and see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.